Morning. Morning. This show contains mature content. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready to get your mind blown? One angry New York City Puerto Rican decided to start a radio show. Determined to piss the world off by shoving a mirror in front of society's face. He kicked them in the balls. What are you? Who are you? This is the Crotch Shot Radio Show. Crotch Shot Radio Show. This is not a test. This is a broadcast transmission. We're going to stay on the air. And now, and now, the weepy, the weepy. Yo, welcome to the Crowd Shot Radio Show, where we kick the issues in the balls. We're on an active war against bullshit. We will do anything and everything to expose bullshit. The ends sometimes justify the means. So if you're angry and want the truth exposed, then strap in and prepare to be shocked. This is Smash Mouth Talk. If you can't accept that, then fuck off. I am your host, Louis B. I takes no shits from nobodies. I expose the bullshit of society and I bring it to you in nice, chewable, easily to digest chunks. Today won't be any different. Again, I am doing a late show. This is probably going to be a quick hit, but I got the royal bug, bug up my ass. And uh, I saw this thing land on my uh, on my uh, news feed <clears throat> on Facebook, and I read the article. And you know, it's it's one of those things that scares the living fuck out of me. It really, it really does. It like it, it like makes me worried about marriage. You know, as much as, you know, I am, you know, it's it's stuff like this that makes uh, the whole MG Toe movement look more and more attractive. Um, if not for my protection of my own health, both physical and mental, um, you know, financial health, like, I would hate... To, to have to bust my ass finding that special someone or thinking I found the one if if that's even you know like it's not making me question it and like um if I could refer back to my la- the show I did with Mercedes Carrera where um we were trying to de- where we were trying to debunk what Russell Brand was uh, talking about when it came to porn, you know, making people <clears throat> fucking, uh, I don't know, can, can you hear me? Let me see. Let me monitor myself. Porn. Okay. Just, um, <laughs> making people question whether meaningful relationships are real. And I, I answered, it wasn't porn that does that. It, it's feminism that does, that makes me wonder whether finding a meaningful relationship is possible or if it's even worth it even look, trying to look for one. Because then you read shit like this, books like this, and, you know, <clears throat> let's just say if it was written by a man, this would be so fucking demonized. If it was written by a man. 
And um, yeah, it's uh, I I saw this uh, the Washington Post and also the Daily Beast wrote a story about this. Um, the book is called. Uh, it's three in the morning. I'm tired. <laughs> The book is called, um, how are you doing, everybody that's listening? Feel free in chat, just uh, click the link and it'll take you to the live chat. If you're listening, hit the speech bubble and bada bing, bada boom, you could talk and say hi, join me. I also have my Skype on, so if you want to add me, uh, it is Crotch Shot Radio. Let me just get into this here. <clears throat> The book is called The Wild Oats Project, and it was written by Robin Rinaldi, if I'm pronouncing that uh, correct. And it's about this woman that her husband didn't want kids, and he got a vasectomy without, I guess, without her consent because she wanted a kid, he didn't. Which, you know what? It's something that should have been spoken about in the beginning of their... Before they even got married, it should have been decided. You know. But then again, a lot of times when... Look, I don't want kids. And a woman is so fucking marriage fucking thirst, thirsty for... Mad thirsty for to get married. They're like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then, you know, once they get that, once the guy signs that fucking piece of paper, it's like, oh, by the way, I want kids and, you know, fuck your dreams. But, <laughs> we got next, Jackson, Jack, uh, uh really? Okay. <laughs> All right, let the side, like, I'm just going to do a side thing. I just want to address this and, you know, he's probably going to catch a boner. For me addressing this. I guess someone is going after. Trying to make fun of Guy Shay's grandkid. Or some shit. So. You know this dude. This dude put. um, Jackson nigger boy Shay. As a screen name. And he's like I like to be hugged. See you know. And and I'm not trying to. Like look I'm not going to be like. Oh well you know you shouldn't say that. That's wrong. Like no it's just like. Why are you going for the easy joke? That's just like, that's not even offensive anymore. That's just pure laziness. It really is. It's just lazy. <laughs> it's, it, it really is. I mean, comedically speaking, trolling speaking, like honestly, trolls in my opinion are just lazy. But then again, I, I don't think... Well, then again, it's probably... The, the point is probably not to be funny. It's just to get a reaction. So, congratulations. I You've been... You've been... You've been acknowledged. Moving on to the topic. So, this woman... Robin Rinaldi. Here, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna read the... Um read the article here and I'm just gonna um gonna, there's two articles that I pulled up and so I'm just gonna um make a comment on each uh whatever point I'm just not, I'm not gonna read this fucking book 287 pages just bullshit Ro uh, Robin Rinaldi a magazine journalist living in San Francisco by way of Scranton, Pennsylvania, initially wasn't sure she wanted, and you know what? I keep forgetting. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> nah. So. So. <clears throat> Let me go. Okay. Robin Rinaldi, a magazine journalist living in San Francisco by way of Scranton, Pennsylvania, initially wasn't sure she wanted children, but she knew that Scott, her stoic Midwestern husband, did not. So she already knew ahead of time. 
Over time, Rinaldi decided on her fucking own she wanted a baby. A baby would add purpose to their lives. Yeah, because you know what? Children are, you know, children are not people. They're they're a fucking assess a, a fucking accessory that goes with your fucking purse. A reason to go fucking shopping. Not because you want to have a symbol uh, a symbol of your love with your partner. It, no, 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 no. Fuck that. I mean, and that's the shit that, you know, a lot of times, like, turn women off towards me. Because I'm like, I have a strict, I don't want no women, I don't want, I don't want no fucking kids. Nothing. Like, honestly, fuck that. And Apocalypse, I am, uh, and Apocalypse says, I'm his favorite Bolivian. Okay, never been to Bolivia. But I hear the cocaine there is fucking choice. Mmm. <laughs> Delish, Orga it's organic cocaine there. There, none of that GMO shit. We got Andrew, Andrew in the chat room. What's up? Like I don't want, like, like that's the thing. I mean, a lot of chicks, they're like, oh, I can't be with someone that doesn't want kids. Yeah, but these are the same chicks that won't fuck on the first date. So why are they so worried about me not wanting to have kids if they barely know me? And, you know, and it's hard to, like, really think. It's it's hard to, like, not believe. It's like, okay, so you you just want a fucking an easy paycheck. Because you don't want a kid because you want something that's going to love you. Or some something to take care of. Or something that, that's a proof of, you know, your love for two people that love each other. No, 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 no. You just want a reason so that way you could fucking not have to work again and get a guy on fucking child support. That's just another way to fucking steal money out some poor schmuck's paycheck. That's how, you know, that's how modern women treat kids. It's fucking, it's a fucking lotto ticket. It's a win for life scratch off. Like, why would a dude want to have, make a child? Like, it, it makes no fucking sense. There are, what, six billion people on this planet? Fuck that. Like, oh, well, what, what, you know, what's going to make your name live on? Oh, don't you want a PC to live forever? First of all, in the Bible, and I know a lot of people, oh, the Bible. Even in the Bible, it says on the day of your death, your thoughts cease. From dust you are, from dust you will return. Which means I'm not going to have no fucking consciousness after I fucking close my eyes for the last fucking time. I'm not going to give a shit. Because I'm not going to... In fact, I'm not going to have the awareness... Awareness, is that even... Yeah, it is. A, aware, I'm not going to have the, the cognitive abilitas... The... 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 Like, I'm not going to exist anymore. There's no such thing as an immortal soul. So what? I'm not going to be in heaven. I'm not going to be in hell. Who's going to give a f who, who gives a fuck if my name lives on? Who gives a flying fuck? And, and this, and she already knew her husband didn't want a fucking kid. But hey, I decide for the both of us, we should have a kid. It'll make us love each other more. Look, look, here, here's a, here's a thing. If you don't love each other, if you can't fucking stand each other to be in the same room and you're married. Yeah, you're going to bring a kid into that and, and, and all that's going to do is going to add stress and expense and make your fucking lives worse. Kids fuck up shit. Like, what are you talking about? Apocalypse uh, says, I wouldn't mind kids, but I can't find a non-crazy woman to have kids with. So it looks like no kids it is. You know what? You're better off. Like, you know, and, and you know, I just love it when, when, you know, I talk crap about women on stage. And they're like, oh, you better not have kids. You shouldn't have kids. You're right. I'm not going to have kids. 
get a fucking job. You can, <laughs> women are equal in the workforce. You could get a job and make more money. <laughs> why the fuck should I get? Why should? Why the holy? Why in the fucking? Fuck should I should I want to give you a child or give any woman a child? You know, like I tell this to my little female, my female cousins. They're like, I want to have babies. Get a fucking job. That's like I freaking straight up tell them that's fucking lazy thinking. And then I pull up pictures of women's bodies that have been destroyed because of pregnancy. I'm like, do you want your body to look like this? Look at your mother's body. Look. Her body's fucking direct. <laughs> and that's because of you. She used to be skinny, not attractive, but skinny. Are you kidding me? You must be stupid. <laughs> Make your money, fucking, you know, you know, get a fucking job, get a fucking education. Fucking learn to take care of yourself. Fucking, oh, I want to have kids. I want to get married and have kids. Get a fucking job. You know what? I, I start. You know that's why I tell little girls now. It's like, oh, I want to get married. You know what? Stop at. Stop expecting a fucking handout. Fucking Obama. Fucking voters. <laughs> God, I, I, like I read this fucking article. I just want to punch this bitch in a fucking cunt. Like, I want to, like, punch her cunt so hard that she never has feeling again. Like, you know, it just numbs it. Uh-oh. Violence towards women! No, 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 no. It's just that she really should not ever, ever get any type of fucking satisfaction or any pleasure from fucking sex again. It should be, like, orgasms should be, like... Like, I... I you know what? I'm just going to throw a fucking curse at her. A fucking Puerto Rican curse. May she never be able to come again. May she never feel pleasure from a dick, a fucking woman's tongue, fingers, whatever. Like, nowhere. With no one. May she never feel any type of sexual pleasure again. May, she, may her womb be dry and barren. Did I just go Puerto Rican curse or George curse? So does it make it a Puerto Rican curse since I'm Puerto Rican and I said it? Or is it like a, me throwing a Jewish curse? Because it is kind of like Jewish curse-esque. I don't know. You decide in the chat room. <laughs> We got Goofy Bone. Sorry about what happened to your show, Goofy Bone. I don't know what happened. Well, I don't fully know what happened, but, you know, I heard I heard some bad things happened. <laughs> Welcome to the safe harbor. <laughs> when Scott opted for a vasectomy, she demanded, an, she demanded an open marriage. Okay, first of all, so what? Okay, like, I wish a bitch would be like, Oh, if I can't have kids, I get to fuck all the cock I want. I would, I'll be like, you know what? Here's the fucking divorce papers. Go fuck yourself, you dumb cunt. Yeah, like, I'm gonna fucking, like, wait, you, I'm gonna let you go suck another man's dick and fucking try to kiss me in the mouth? Are you insane? I fucking busted my ass, fucking paid for the, paid for the fucking wedding. Fucking took you out on dates so you could be mine and mine alone and I could be yours and yours alone. And because I won't give you a kid which you knew ahead of time. You want to go fuck other motherfuckers? And that's what this book is about. Oh, my husband didn't want to give me kids. So, you know, I want I wanted to go fuck other people. Like, honestly... <laughs> Fuck you, Robin Rinaldi. Honestly, you you fucking like this is the most stuck up of stuck upness stuff up, up of the di bitches. Like if that's the case, if you're so if you're so fucking like you know you know you just you didn't want to you didn't want to die with just having fucked four guys in your life. Really, really. I mean, if you really think about it, you know how it should be if everyone was like 
following their religion or following their Christian upbringing to the left. You should only have one fucking sexual partner in your entire life. Oh, but I need to explore my sexuality. And I bet, you know, and again, if this was, if this book was written, oh, my wife didn't want to have kids with me. So I was like, yo, bitch, if I can't, if I can't have kids, I want to go fuck some other bitches. Oh, you know how fucking demonized that this book would be? No, nah, but she gets a fucking pussy pass. Like, no, I wouldn't have, I, like, I don't want kids, period. I don't want, like, look, I like other, I like, I wouldn't mind being an uncle. I'm a, I would be a kick-ass uncle, even though I'm an only child. <laughs> like, Apocalypse says, would you ever adopt? Like, hell no. I don't want to be responsible for another human being. Other than, you know, if I find that one her but at least I get to stick my dick in her not if I get a kid cause that shit is just fucked up bottom line if I'm gonna take care of something if I'm gonna be ha having to maintain another human being it's gonna be a human being that I get to fuck now and again <laughs> fair enough I refuse to go to my grave with no children and only four lovers, she declares. If I can't have one, I must have the other. Oh, you must have the other. Not only would I have slapped the fucking... I would have slapped the shit out this bitch for even talking stupid. I would have said, hear the fucking divorce papers, sign them, and then you could do whatever the fuck you want. Like, honestly, what kind of fucking cuckold is this guy to fucking, to fucking be okay with this? I mean, I guess the one good thing about this is that she allowed him to go date other people. But honestly, if it's, if it's to that point where it's like, oh, you know, we're married, but let's see other people. Let's have an open relationship. Fucking, it's time to go. Like, I don't, like, you know, okay. Be gay, be straight, be bisexual, well, I don't know. Bisexual, fine, it's just, you know, if you're gonna be bisexual, don't be dating, you know, a man and a woman at the same fucking time, because that shit is bullshit, too, in my opinion. It's like, oh, so you want your cake and eat it, too. Like, these polyamorous fucking people, they, like, they, they'll fuck anything. They kind of piss me off because, you know, in my experience, these polyamorous people or, you know, people that think they're polyamorous, they want to be able to fuck anything they want, but they want people to be fucking loyal to them and not be able to sleep with other people. That's what I fucking see. Oh, I'm going to date other people. Okay, well then I'm gonna see other people. Oh, uh, how can you wanna be with other people if you wanna if you wanna be with me? Oh, well you're fucking other people. Oh, uh, but I'm polyamorous. Oh, uh, well, what the fuck? Like honestly. <clears throat> I would assume that at least 75 plus of the women, 30 plus of the kids. Like, Andrew, Andrew wouldn't want to put up, I, like, I already got a feeling Andrew wouldn't put up with that fucking faggot shit. And th that's what exactly this shit is, it's some faggot shit. So, there we go. Let me go back to this article here. 
The arrangement is unorthodox enough to succeed as a story, and in Rinaldi's telling, it unfolds as a sexual awake awakening romp wrapped in a female empowerment. Fe okay, you know. And this is why, oh, you can't slut shame. It's female empowering to fuck other people while you're married because, you know, shit that you knew ahead of time about your mate. Now you fucking change your mind. Like, now, like, like, what's so fucking hard? What's so fucking hard? End it. End the relationship. You're no longer compatible. Compatible. Or you never were compatible, yet you try to fucking force fit the, force fit the pieces. And now you want to go fuck other people. A sort of Fifty Shades of Eat, Pray, Love. I wanted to tell him to fuck me hard, but I couldn't get the words out my mouth. It's a typical Rinaldi dilemma. At the same time, she constantly searches for feminine energy or her feminine core or for a spiritual practice guided by the feminine. You know what? Here's an idea, ladies. How's about you be fucking honest? See, that's the shit. You like, oh, you know, men lie, men lie. Well, women are, women lie to themselves. We lie to you because we don't want to fucking deal with your shit. Because you know what? I'm sorry. Most women are not powered by fucking common sense. It's all about their feelings. It's like it does. I wasn't feeling good. Like, you know what, bitch? Like, this is fucking disgusting. It really is. <laughs> yep, A AK Cog, Louis B, Louis B, Louis B. That is my name. You say it three times, I might show up in front of your house. Be like, <laughs> be like Beetlejuice. Louis B, Louis B, Louis B, I'm here. So, like, honestly, it's like, oh, I want my feminine energy. Here's an idea, bitch. How's about you fucking learn how to fucking create something? You know why men have the privileges we do? Because if there's a fucking Red Dawn type situation, I gotta go out there with a fucking learn how to fucking shoot and then kill me some fucking gooks. Like, you would expect me to go to fucking war if, if we were fucking invaded by another country. You would expect that because y'all would call me a pussy if I don't go out and get my shit, my dick shot off. Oh, well, we women and children first. Like, imagine, like, really think about this. You know, I'm, I'm searching for my masculine energy, my masculine core for that spirit... Oh, or for a spiritual practice guided by the masculine. This would be viewed as the most bigoted book. Aside from fucking Mein Kampf. This would be a Mein Kampf book. If you just change a few words around. For, to, for it to pertain to men. My wife didn't want to have a kid. So I said I'm going to go fuck some bitches. Just fucking imagine. I show you guys know if you if you want to help me out why don't you click that like button if you like the show let me continue here but more than empowering or arousing this story is depressing Rinaldi just seems lost she's sorting through the psychology psychological debris of an abusive childhood oh yeah she oh well you know I was abused when I was a kid and, you know, that's why I can't have a meaningful relationship with a man that I fucking marry. Yeah, you know what? Fucking grow up. Like, you know, when, when I was falsely accused of rape, I was, like, when I was 19, that shit fucked me up. And guess what I'm told? Fucking get over it. Fucking put on your big boy pants. Deal with it. Shit happens. You mean, this bitch who's, who was in her 40s... When this happened, she couldn't, like, 
this that's the fucking problem. Women are still viewed are are still infanticized. They're treated like babies in this society. They want they refuse to grow up. Again, if you guys want to call in, it, I'm on Skype Crotch Shot Radio. This is the Crotch Shot Radio Show. Like, I'm all for sexual freedom. Like, you know, I'm not saying she shouldn't be free to fuck, like, a cadre of dicks. Like, she should, it, she, it should be, it, you know, she should be feel free to fucking get, like, three stuck in her and become airtight but she shouldn't be doing this shit and discovering this shit after she fucking got married oh well you're not hitting it right I, you know oh you know everything was put on the table I knew everything I knew every, you know and this is why we need to change the fucking uh, the fucking uh, what you call that the, the, the divorce laws so that way these fucking people can't fucking get away with this shit. <laughs> so. So it's just, it's really fucking upsetting. Robin and Scott agreed to three rules. No serious involvements, no unsafe sex, no sleeping with mutual friends. That, that both go on to break. You know what? And if that's like, you know, if you got to fucking, like, just fucking get a divorce. Like, all these fucking people that are against gay marriage. Like, oh, in defense of marriage act, we shouldn't let gay people get married. No, we shouldn't let retards like these people get married. Like, they're making a mockery of marriage. Oh, we want an open marriage. We want to be free to fuck other people. He finds a steady girlfriend. While Robin violates two rules right away, in truth, I was sick of protecting things. She writes, going, she writes about going condom free with a colleague at a conference. I wanted the joy of being overcome. <laughs> the men and women she hooks up with. Like, you know what? And, and I'm going to keep repeating myself. Then why stay married? What about these pork eating crusaders? I hear so much about. I like pork. Pork is delicious. Fucking awesome. The men and women she hooks up with, some na whose names Rinaldi has changed, others too fleeting to marry aliases, all blur into a new age Bay Area cliche. Everyone is a healer or a mystic or a doctoral student in feminist or Eastern spirituality. First of all, I don't trust anyone that fucking calls themselves or themselves a fucking guru, a fucking mystic, or a fucking um uh, 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 um. What you call that? A, 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 uh, some form of, uh, 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 uh shit. Fuck, I, I even did a show about this. Hey, everyone stop chatting? What the fuck? Wait, everyone got tired? Am I boring? I don't give a fuck. It's 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> I saw this and I was like, I can't wait until tomorrow night to fucking bitch about this. 
this shit needs to this shit needs to fucking stop. I mean, and this is the shit that gets me scared about getting married. Like getting or finding someone. Because this chick is in her forties, she's what? Not now in like her late forties. Like, oh I'm fucked. I'm like Severely fucked shamans. Yeah, I don't trust anyone that calls them a sh calls themselves sh a shaman or a light worker. I don't trust any type of person that claims that about themselves. Like what? Where do you go to school to become a shaman? Do you go to 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 uh, fucking Hogwarts? I'm a shaman. I got my I got my associates in bullshitology from Hogwarts. Here's my here's my diploma for coming on an hour. I want to hear you dance and make fun of someone or a group. Eh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Guy Shay. There you go, happy. So. <clears throat> They're all verging on enlightenment, sensing mutual energy, getting copious action to the sounds of tribal drums. Like, you know what? And and when it's white people that pull that dumb shit, like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna do some Eastern religions and shit, you know you're full of shit. Like, if you're white, if you're white and you're Buddhist and you really wanna show it, please kill yourself. All these fucking white people that are Kabbalah, they're in Kabbalah, fucking Scientology, uh, fucking, they want, they, I read Deepak Chopra, and all that fucking faggot, happy horse shit. Like, honestly, anyone that fucking calls themselves a shaman, or, or they consider themselves a light worker, or anything like that, you, you could all fucking eat a Dick and die, you fucking waste of fucking scum. Like I seriously hate shaman people that call themselves shamans because those are the motherfuckers that you know they they're not doing it to help anybody. They're just doing it to take someone's money and probably fuck your bitch. <laughs> and this stupid twat fell for it. Instead of being a woman. Actually, no, fuck that. Instead of being a fucking adult and be like, you know, maybe we weren't right for each other. No, because that would make too much, that would be too much, that would make too much sense. Now, wouldn't it? Too much common sense. Yeah, to. I'm a Budo fascist. Yeah, well then, eat a dick. CDC whistleblower, you could call in at Crotch Shots Radio on the Skypes. Or, or, damn, why do I keep forgetting to do this? Okay, I'm opening up the, the call-in line. Let's open up the call-in line for people. Because you know why? Because fuck you, that's why. <laughs> Jesus Jesus help me All right the call in on the call in line is now open you can call in at 347 927 6824 that's 347 927 6824 There you go CDC whistleblower I just put the number in the chat room for your ass. Just for your ass. I hear you have a nice one. Nice took us. That's what they tell me. 347-927-6824. Funny enough, you could call me on that number anytime. <laughs> and now I just and I instantly regret saying that. <laughs> but the call in line is now open. Uh, 
But they were all in uniform in their unconventionality and that it's hard to keep everyone straight. This book... Oh, wait. Okay, how come this shit ain't... Wait, how come this shit ain't calling in? Oh. Wait, what the hell? Alright, hold on. Uh oh. Ah! Okay, why is this shit not working? This shit not working. Alright, hold on. Let me let me try this again. Hold on. Gmail. Why the fuck didn't this shit work? Alright, try calling in again. With a block number. I'm a light worker. I'm a shaman. I'm fucking aware, man. Now let's go fuck. God, if you fall for that shit, you deserve to catch whatever is fucking. Yeah, call in. Try calling in. Ah, now it's working. Now, why is it not letting me fucking answer? Oh, wait. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, wait. There we go. Hey. Hi. What's up? How you doing, CDC? I am doing fabulous. Oh, my God. Right now. I hear I hear you have a nice ass. Is that true? Mm, well, now I would say yes. Oh, now you'll say yes. Okay, good for you. Yeah, well, I lost weight, and somebody keeps on posting things that are from many years ago. Oh, okay. I can't get the color of my hair right. I mean, motherfuckers, I swear to God. I've had a drink tonight. Have you? No. Have I... you had your nightly drink? I, do, I don't drink alcohol, and I don't, I don't smoke. Well, I, I highly recommend white whiskey. White whiskey. I can't, I can't really. Because it's white. Oh, oh I see. Mm. Yes. I'm, I'm more of a rum guy myself because I'm brown. I just picked up some rum, I swear to God. It's Bacardi Gold. Ah, thank Picked you. Picked it up with my left hand. Ah, yes. That, from, from the island of Puerto Rico, my, my home country. Yeah, Puerto Ricans and their vaccines, yeah. Uh, we got yeah. some crazy people down there. Yeah, well. Don't blame me. Right. Blame the Rockefellers. You left, right? Yeah. You abandoned Puerto Rico. I didn't the abandon it. I didn't abandon it. So anyways, what do, what do you think about the subject matter of what I am talking about? Is it feminism or monogamy or... The Wild Oats Project, which I guess is being a whore, right? No. Well, it's a book written by Robin Rinaldi that uh, she yeah. she got she got up she got a bug up her ass because her husband didn't want it, want kids, but she knew ahead of time he she he didn't want kids. So when he got a vasectomy, she was like, "If I can't have kids, I'm gonna fuck a bunch of other people." <gasps> I don't know. I mean, and, they both, nasty, and they both and they both and they both agree, but they both they did both agree. Well, according to her, they both agreed to an open relationship. Mm-hmm. But my argument got that in writing. Yeah, I mean my my argument is if you're gonna if if you have to do all that, then fucking leave. Like if you don't like what another person is doing, there's the fucking door. Well, I hear you on that. I do. Like, you know, I don't I don't like this whole this new fucking oh I'm polyamorous. Because I mean I knew this one chick that, you know, some dude talked her into like, oh she's polyamorous, she's she, she's like being beyond bisexual. But the thing is, it's not like it, it it's it's just it's just wanting their cake and eat it too. You wanna fuck men, you wanna fuck women, you wanna fuck transsexuals, dogs and anywhere in between. But if they, well, if, but if they seek, but in my, in my experience, when they, where if a guy tries to hook up with another chick, uh, other than the polyamorous chick, 
Oh, you're cheating on me. You're a dog. You don't love me. Like, fuck you. Well, I don't think a relationship is spiritual. Or maybe it is spiritual, polyamorous. But, I mean, if you think of it, we mm. have serial monogamy, you know, where they have husband after husband or wife after wife. What's the harm in having it all at one time? I think it's kind of torture for the man, if you ask me. I, I wouldn't make that choice if I were a man. But well, that's, that's, that's the thing. Them. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. If If... You know, if you're a single guy or you're a single woman, go have fun, live, God bless. But the moment you start trying to have like a a serious fucking relationship with somebody, it's like, no, I'm sorry, I don't feel like I I should have to share. I'm not gonna make someone. I'm not gonna make someone share me. Well, I hear what you're saying. It's just... But at the same time, if you cannot make a commitment, I would never call that a serious relationship. Yeah. And then they get involved with a married woman or vice versa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know... It can't be a serious relationship if there's no commitment potential. Yeah, and now what? So this open marriage, she she can't have kids, so she's going to fuck other people because she doesn't have passion in her life? What? So if she had kids... This dude still wouldn't have been passionate. They would still mm-hmm. be having lousy sex or what? So what? She's uh, gonna... It's probably about money, one way or the other. It mm-hmm. always comes down to money. Well, and she wrote property, a book about but... it, so, you know, she's getting paid off, off of being a slut. I mean, how's this different from those, like, hip-hop... Well, he's the dumbass that allowed it, Louie. Well, what about true. him? True. Why he did should've... he stay with her for so long? True. I assume that he stayed with her. For an extended amount of time. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a, they were, they were just testing this out for a year and surprise, surprise, they got a divorce. Like, honestly, so what? Like, it, the, the deal was she would like fuck other people during the week and come back to him when, when, when it was safe, when, when, just to feel safe. When she got like in a little, little trouble, she would run back to him. Mm-hmm. Like, because he was familiar, that's why. Yeah. And he was uncomplicated. These other people probably were complicated in many different ways. Yeah, well, Am I right or wrong? Yeah, I guess so. So how are you doing after the drama from a few nights ago? Uh, a little better. Um, we're, we're taking it day by day. We're, we're doing... Good. We are we're we're uh, making plans to make shit easier. Uh, yeah. We might have somebody murdered. Um, okay. Yeah. I know some people. Ah, oh. no, nah, don't worry. I know some people too. I can take it to the next level, you know. Mm. I bet you can. Mhm. Mhm. Sure can. It just. And I'm a good aim too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bet you are. I can. I mean, I can shoot a target, you know, like the little target at the end of the shooting gallery. Mm. With my eyes closed. I've mm. hit it. Yeah, but can you catch it in your mouth? Oh, uh, so anyways. Go ahead. <laughs> so do you do any terrestrial radio? Do you do, do you have mm. any air check? Mm. Or would you ever want to do terrestrial radio? I think it's a fate work. Um. Yeah, personally. Terrestrial radio, I don't think I, I could ever do terrestrial radio with the way I talk. I love the freedom I get from internet radio. Yeah. Um, I could be as outrageous as I want to be. True. If, if I get angry at a certain race, I could, you know, totally destroy them with my words. And do you really y- get mad at races? Well, yeah, because, well, last summer especially, I, I ended up deleting the show because I listened back recently. I'm like, damn. But... It's too much? Yeah. But I was mugged at gunpoint. Oh, damn. And I was like, you fucking... Were they disappointed? What? Were they disappointed? Oh, they were. <laughs> they were. I friend-zoned... Now that should make you smile. I friend-zoned, I friend-zoned my mugger. He, he did all that work. He got nothing. <laughs> I'm like I got no cash He's like Don't show me nothing nigga I'm gonna shoot you in your face I'm like And I'm like You're a fucking pussy You know that right 
probably a public school kid. Like I swear to God, if I wasn't, if I wasn't, ju- if I wasn't sitting like lying down on, like sitting lying down on my stoop, and I yeah. was standing up, I would probably be in jail, because Al Sharpton would have been like, he was killed because he was a black kid. Like let's like let's forget the fact that it's racial violence, racial, racial violence. violence in the hood. It's racial violence. Let's just forget the fact that dude was wearing a mask and he stuck a fucking gun in my face. Right. Well, that's what happened to Paula Dean, you know. She was robbed at a bank. So oh, yeah. She called the guy a nigger, you know. Yeah. I'm not afraid of the word. You know, I think I might say a few choice words if, if I got robbed face to face. And I've had an in home invasion. And I, I did too. I said some fucking choice words too. Yeah. Like, I got fucking, I got fucking pissed off. And the fact of the matter, and the thing that pisses me off about Paula Dean, and now we're on the official tangent of the show. Okay. All right. Just wanted to throw that out. Make sure we are now in the we're now off topic officially. Congratulations. I'm sorry. I'm a little no. bit tipsy, so don't You'll worry. Just have to learn somehow to forgive me, or just hate me like everybody else does. I, again, why do they hate you? Well, when you have someone saying this and that about you, that's untrue. You know, some blonde dumb dumpster. You know, what, that can't what, handle who? her own life, so she has to try to wreck yours. What? Are you, who are you talking about? The dumpster. You know, dumpster juice, blonde dumpster juice. No, I don't know who you're talking about. Ah, uh, you're buddy with her. It's okay. You'll learn, too. She stabs everybody in the back. But that's the real reason. Oy. That is the real reason. That's the... I used to co-host with her. Oh. She got upset. Okay, well... Whatever. I don't know. Well, you asked me, so I uh, answered. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, fair enough. Because I'll tell you the truth. That's all right. Not not here. Not here. If you want to talk to me later, we can talk later. But I don't want to like. See, that's not what I. That's not the show I want to do. Like, even even if somebody well, was you just, asked me why everybody hated me, and I yeah, why you. yeah, I, why they hated you? Like, like even even the people that hate her. Which I don't see why. I don't see why anyone uh, like why waste the time. But anyways, where was I? I have no idea. I, we went. We, we went on. I just answered a question. Yeah. I like before then. I shouldn't. I, eh, oh well. I got curious. My bad. But before I asked you, why did they hate you? Where was I going? The comment I made before that you keep her. Love me or hate me like everybody else. And we were talking about in home invasion and being oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. robbed and using Paula uh, Dean. Yeah. Reactionary language was what I would call it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but the thing is, did, did Paula Dean fucking even say the N word or was racist towards anyone since? Like, that was done. There like... was an employee. There was an employee that claimed that she was racist and included. Her son in on that because her son was involved with some of her business dealings. This was a disgruntled employee. This is an employee that had a history of being upset oh, with well, other people. Oh. And no one really got past that. All they heard was the N-word. And the new type of abuse is being oversensitive, in my opinion, if you oh, ask yeah. me. Just watch the major market news. Oh, oh yeah, I can't yeah. believe they said that. They did an inappropriate rant. Well, violent rant, but... You know, things like that get thrown around. Colin Flattery. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead and respond. Yeah, I, I know Colin Flattery. I, I uh, subscribe to him. I love his stuff. Yeah. Um, he has I, a new book. Have you read the new book yet? Uh, I want well, to. The Black, Don't Make the Black Kids Angry? Yes. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm trying to get him on, but our, our schedules really? don't. Really? Yeah, our schedules don't seem to. Uh... He's willing to come on a lot of different. Yeah, you, but you know, I think his, that would be great for you. Yeah, I mean, I I've, I've had, I've had this other gentleman on. He, uh, he's N Y, mm-hmm. he's called, he's N Y C Resistance, and okay, and he uh, did he he films the police. He, he's a black guy. He films the N Y P D here, and he talks about you know you know police N Y P D abuse towards blacks and Hispanics. Which, look, it does happen. It does it happen. Does. It does happen. But, you know, he didn't like the fact that I'm not, 
he he's also he's also pro black, and I'm not I I'm not pro black because I well I'm not anti black either, but I can't show favoritism towards black people because I'm not black. Right. And plus, I see both sides. Like, look, how can you how can you how, how do you expect people to treat you right when you have an entire community that fucking celebrates their own fucking ignorance? Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, well, when I when I was going to school, when I was in high school, mm-hmm. the, before I tra- I was I went to Park West High School in in Manhattan before I transferred yeah. to another high school because the black kids there would beat up the Hispanic kids if they started talking Spanish. Damn. It was it was total racism. And you the know, black the, clan existed. Like, you know, and but That's you, a clan move, by the way. Oh, well. Like the black dudes would would punch the Spanish girls if they if mm. the if the Spanish girls like said no, they didn't go they didn't go for them. Right. Or they were talking Spanish to each other. They would get punched right. in the face. Or the black girls, yeah. they the black girls would get jealous because the du- the black dudes would be trying to get with the Spanish girls, and they would right. fight the Spanish girls. They would jump them and all that shit. There were times where I got like I was in Spanish class, and you know I'm not I, I'm not fluent in Spanish, but I know how to get by, and I passed the test. Which was a really simple test to tell you the truth, and a black kid saw it. He, uh, you know, he tried to act like my buddy, like put his arm around me, and I was kind of, you know, nervous, yeah. nervous about, you know, why you have your arm around me. And then yeah, as I, I turn, you. as I turn my back, he punches me in the face. And then there's four dudes Damn. that come, there's four dudes that that come up to to help him fight me. Well, I had no idea you had such a background. I'm sorry. Like, that like, no, no. It's trouble. like you know, it's it's it's, and, and in this school, you and know, that was Manhattan. Yeah, and black kids, black kids would steal shit from me, and it was a fucking joke. And yet, well, were you allowed to carry a gun at least? No, this is New York City. You're not allowed to carry a fucking fist. Are you serious? <laughs> New York City, New York City. You could bear. You're barely allowed you to defend yourself. You don't have open carry. No. I can't believe that. You don't have open carry? No. What about concealed? Surely you have no. concealed carry. No. What the hell? Unless unless you're a celebrity and you pay thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and you're able to prove that your life is threatened on a daily basis, that's the only way you get a concealed carry. So, um, wow. Robert De Niro, he has a concealed carry uh, permit in New York City. But a normal citizen is not allowed. In fact, in fact, law enforcement get out of there. In fact, other law enforcement, if they're passing through New York City, they could get arrested for bringing a gun into New York City and their law enforcement. In fact, they have um certain uh jur- certain uh priests um not precincts yeah precincts fuck it mm-hmm. um police, uh, police departments have fun set up to bail out officers who have been arrested by the NYPD for bringing a gun if they're just passing through. Damn. Passing through to, to like... Who set that up? Was that a city decision or was that a state? Well, New York State, I mean, you're you're allowed to have, you know, you could you could have a gun for hunting and shit. But New York City, New York City is a whole different animal, man. It, like you can only have a gun to to you keep in your house or your business. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, and, and even still, you have to prove that you need a gun. Well, what if you're self-employed and you travel a lot? Can that be you? No. Like you might get robbed or no. whatever. No. That's like awesome. you, you can't even you can't even carry a knife. Um, you like and and if you and if you fight hand to hand, you could still go to jail if you if you hit the guy hard enough and you break skin. Even if it's you, you're defending yourself. Well, let me mark off New York City as a place to live. 
No. Yeah. I've had opportunities to move up there, but mm -mm. I knew there was something wrong with you guys. I mean, not not you guys, but with the city being you guys. I mean, that's why a lot of us have to like learn how to throw hands. But what about Third Street? Is that a pretty good place to Third, live? Third Street. In Manhattan. Third Street and what avenue? Um, a very tall skyscraper. Just, I don't remember. It's a nice area. It's no. probably near the Chrysler Building. That's not Third Street. Well, he lives at Third Street, and he works at the Chrysler. Building. Are you sure? Oh, he works in the Chrysler Building. Yeah, an attorney. <clears throat> oh. But. Well, that's that's uh that's down that's um that's probably the and village. The other guy was at 57th and he was near Central Park and Lincoln Center. Oh yeah, that's a ni that's a nice there. area. That's a he nice area. But there. even st but even still, you know, I used to work over there. I used to work for a college in that area. And um, you know, at night you know, that's when the freaks will come out. That's where all the homeless will come. The homeless sleep in, in, in Central Park. And and they walk around and, you know, can I get a dollar? Can I get a dollar? And it gets, a fucking, gets annoying after a while. I bet it does. I bet it does. But I think it would also be fascinating to live in a city that never sleeps. That I was intrigued by. Yeah. I mean, New York... You know, New York City, like, I mean, like, I remember, you know, you could, you, you're barely allowed to defend yourself. You're only allowed to do enough so that way you could run away and get to safety. It's not like if somebody's, you know, if somebody jumps you and you fight, you can't just stay and fucking pound his ass into the pavement. Why not? Because then that's assault. <laughs> and then you could get arrested. For hurting him. Well, self defense. Self defense doesn't it? matter in New York City. It's it's not it's not it's what you could well, if you could prove. Someone needs to talk to your mayor and straighten him or her out. <sighs> well, I don't know who the we've mayor had, is. We had we had we 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 now have a. Uh, our we mayor. Had a our, for a mayor for yeah, a little while. Yeah. That Julian. Ju yeah, we had Giuliani, and then we Giuliani. had another horrible mayor, and now we have this horrible mayor. Bloomberg, Bloomberg, we had Giuliani, we had Bloomberg, and now we have uh, de Blasio. I know nothing of that one. I know the other name. Oh, if you want to talk about race baiting, first of all, his wife is an ex-lesbian black woman. Okay. So, you know, he threw the cops... They have nice pussies, though, let's be honest. Black women have nice pussies. Okay. If you're into that sort of thing. Well. I'm very confident in myself. Mm. Go ahead. So, he has an ex-wife that's a black lesbian, right? That was a black Blasio. lesbian. Yeah. The Blasio. <laughs> I feel so good right now. Mm, I bet you do. I do. Oh, my God. The word vomit's going to happen at any moment now. I can just wait for it. Or real vomit. Mm -hmm. Word vomit or real vomit. I really hope you don't. What? I hope you don't. Vomit? I really hope you don't vomit. I do on a daily basis about now. So. But I had my I had my fenogram, so I think I can have a drink or two. Okay. Or three. <laughs> oh, life is so good. It's so good. <laughs> On the cobweb Afternoon In a room full of Emptiness By a freeway okay. What if I set you up with somebody Like in a different state where you could leave And go to that state So you can carry a gun at least and be a man with balls <laughs> Be a man What I'm not a man with balls What I, I fight I throw well, I throw hands. Yeah, you know, I and I now feel sorry for all New Yorkers because of the information you told me. I, I feel very deeply sorrowful for them. Like that that's why why do you think why you think we're so angry? We have to be angry because it's like I hated a lot of New Yorkers and they've just been horny. That's all. 
Oh, we're just that's just pent up aggression. It's like <laughs> we're, we're 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 this is the most aggressive fucking city in the fucking face of the planet. Like it's it's a constant state of motherfucking pressure. And it's like pressure. at any given any given fucking moment, it's either you're gonna you're 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 gonna have to fight. Is like I, I'm a fat kid that grew up in Brooklyn. How much fucking hand to hand training you think I have? Brooklyn. Yeah. Quite a lot because you're not Jewish. Oy vey. Yeah. <laughs> but who can talk? Okay. I can say he nima tov umadaim shadikim kamyaha. Okay. I know some Hebrew that my grandma taught me. Oh. But of course, according to her, we weren't Jewish, and turns out we were. Oh, well, okay. Not a fucking A. All right, I'm sorry. Hmm. Why are you sorry? I don't know. I thought I thought that's something you would say. It sounded like you would disappoint. Well, no. I mean, I couldn't understand why she would teach us Hebrew. She had to be buried the day after she died, and it was like five inches of ice where I lived. Oh. We have ice storms. You know, but she couldn't own that she was Jewish. It's not a horrible thing. Oh, okay. Well. Actually, it was a fascinating story. Mm-hmm. But I don't know, life is funny. And the more I studied my genealogy, I don't know if you studied your genealogy, the more complete I felt, you know, the more secrets I found out. Yeah. Like, wow, really? That happened? Yeah. Have you studied your genealogy? Uh, not quite. Mm. Like, I do want to know where a part of me comes from because, uh, you know, according to my grandmother, I do have Irish blood in me. I have African blood in me, of course. Um, mm-hmm. I have Italian blood in me somehow. Um, well, there's the genome project where you can find out you know, your genome. Oh, that's New World from. Order. Get my... there's, some, there's one project that's free. You have to go through Ancestry.com. They have a project that's free where they're studying a lot of different people and their genomes. It's called the Genome Product Project that they're linked up to. Yeah, and, and then, then the other did, one my... you have to pay for. I think it's like fifty bucks. Yeah, and then um, then my freaking DNA ends up in some database, and all of a that's sudden, that's right, absolutely. And all of a sudden, you know, I found, I, you know, all of a sudden I get a uh, fucking um, <laughs> get a uh, uh, what you call that a uh, uh, frame for like murder, or rape, or you know. Illegally mm-hmm. downloading porn. No, downloading porn. Yeah. So, do well, you still have the goatee? That's kind of cute. Yes, I do. It's cute. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you know, a lot of people don't like goatees anymore, but I think they're they're gorgeous. Yeah, you know, it shows that you care about yourself because you take care of yourself. Oh, it does. I think it does. Don't I... you think so? Don't you have to like detail your goatee? Make sure those other whiskers don't grow in. Well, yeah, I I, tr- I keep it nice and trim. See, that shows dedication to yourself, which shows that you can make a commitment. That is why I like goatees. Uh huh. I just thought, you know, it's uh, you know, most of the men in my father's side of the family has them, so I'm like, okay, let's keep up with tradition here. And plus, mm-hmm. I like how it frames my face. Yeah. Like you know, cabin facial hair, you know. I like the whole idea of... Yeah, especially if your eyebrows. It looks good. Yeah. I meant eyebrows. Oh. People say I have uh, caterpillar eyebrows. <laughs> Means you're just vibrant. You know, that type of thing. Yeah. I think, personally. I just shut up, I'll be honest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, are we flirting? Mm. I just meant about the eyebrows. I have no idea what oh. caterpillar eyebrows meant. Ah. I think we're flirting with each other. Are we flirting with each other? I don't mind if we're flirting with each other. Uh, I'm being friendly. I'm being friendly. Eh, uh, okay. That's that's what you want to say. Like, I find Goofy Bone so fucking sexy. I don't know what he so looks like. sexy. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh, okay. I'm having a memory. You know, just, mm, he's sexy. I see. Yeah. Well, I'm turned off. So... <laughs> You know, I should hop in the bathtub. What I used to do would be to call in shows from the bathtub, mm. hence the name. Okay. 
It just helped me with a medical affliction. Still does, but I just got tired of calling shows and mm-hmm. doing a show from the bathtub. It was a little bit inconvenient, you know. Yeah. It could Worried be... about things falling in the tub, which they did occasionally. What? Fall, falling yeah. in the tub? Well, like my phone. Like if I called into somebody's show, say on Blog Talk Radio, uh, uh. and I, I'm like, I'm so bored, and then all of a sudden the phone drops in the water, pull up the phone. The water draws out. I use a landline for that because <laughs> cell phones are too expensive to replace like that. Exactly. And it's still working. I mean, it's still working a little garbly, but I don't know. Life is well, you needed Life to get yourself the, the uh, Kyocera Hydro. That's. I understand uh, what you're saying, yeah. The Kyocera Hydro is waterproof. Now, are you part gypsy? Because I look at you and I think... Uh, I I have... No, I'm... Both my, I think you are. Both my, I think you are. Both Somewhere, my parents are... There has are, to be some of that gypsy blood. Both of my parents are are Puerto Rican. But aren't you somewhat intuitive? Like that sixth sense, except for when you get jumped? Uh... I do tend to, I do tend to like be able to guess things about people. Mhm. I was right. I was so right. Yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of funny. I was at this one job, and um, the only thing I knew was I, I just guessed a woman's name. I was like, "Oh, you're such and such here to see Patricia. such and such yeah. and su- to hear see such and such." It's like. Wait, how did you know that was me? Oh, I just said, well, no, I just got that feel. <laughs> I just got that feeling that that's why you were coming in here. You look unfamiliar in the surrounding. I just noticed that you're unfamiliar. And it's like, this is my mom. Can you guess her name? And I said, I want to say Rosalind. And I was right. And she's like, oh my god, did they tell? <laughs> did they tell you? I'm like, no. <laughs> Like it's seriously? It's fun to do that shit, though. It is fun to do that. And I was shit. like, seriously, her name is Rosalind. You're not messing with me. And I was like, no. And she... Well, maybe you should look into to delving into that more. I think you're very blessed with a gift. That God gives you a gift. You should not squander it. You should help people with it. Why? I do comedy. That's my gift. That's my gift for the world. Mm-hmm. But even that. But here, let me let gift. me finish this know right here. What direction to go in? Yeah, the Wild Oats Project, uh, let me just finish this. In the end, Rinaldi needed passion, and she found it in one of the men she met through One Touch. <clears throat> they reunited shortly after she ended her marriage, roughly five years ago, and are still together. They share more potent sexual chemistry than she had with Scott, and are monogamous. Rinaldi and Scott remain friendly, and is now in another relationship himself. Okay, well, okay, there you go. I can tell you where not to meet a blind date, though. Would you like to know where? Where not to meet a blind date? Mm-hmm. Because uh, I, I didn't think this one through. Oh, um, I could tell you. Uh, a, a, okay. nur- a nursery. No. Um, a maternity ward. No. No? This is something I actually did. Mm-hmm. Really okay. T- try another guess. An inappropriate um, place to meet your blind date. Oh, a um, a, a uh, crematorium. No, but oh. well, that's a good one. Yeah, I um, like that one. A, a funeral home uh, along those same lines. Um, Think more the polyamorous thing. Oh, a uh, hospice. <laughs> <laughs> so I was uh, your husband. Reading at a swingers club, oh. like they meet once a month. And they asked me to come do readings. I'm like, well, okay. All right. Is everybody closed? You know, except for one guy, everybody was closed. Of course. So it wasn't that different than a club. And this guy really wanted to meet me. I said, well, you can meet me at this place, but you're going to have to pay $40 to get in. It's pretty cheap here where I live. Mm, yeah. And uh, he came in, and I didn't think that it was really inappropriate <laughs> mm-hmm. to meet him at a swingers. Uh, club or function or whatever you want to call it, you know. And then I later met 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 him again, and I'm starting to stutter. And it was at this really formal stutter. function. It was so hard not to laugh. Mm-hmm. I'm like, we've met before. He goes, no, no, I don't think so. I looked down at his boots. I was like, yes, we have. You know, just <laughs> he had ugly boots on. 
Oh. I'm more of a skater sneaker type of guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Skater? Like roller skates? No, no, as in skateboarding. Ah. Oh. I tried to get my kids into that, but they didn't like it. They didn't like skateboarding? They didn't like to go skateboarding. Oh. It's okay. Are they are they lazy children? No. Oh, so you have so you have kids? Oh yes. Oh, damn. That won't go into detail, but okay. I probably should have made that comment. I I, I don't yeah. usually slip. So. No. So are you married? I'm single. I'm definitely single. Ah. I think I have a problem with commitment, Louis. I really do. That's all right. I've been engaged so many different times. It just never works out, or they get really sick. Mm-hmm. Like one had, what was it called? Uh, I'll think of it in a minute. He had to have brain surgery. Then the other one had a stroke. And he was like perfectly healthy, like really fit. Wow, you're killing guys. But he had heart disease and mm. ended up with a stroke. He got really upset. And he was an aeronautical engineer. Mm. I don't know, but I seen, they seem to have health problems. So, I don't know. Articular vein malfunction. An ah. AVM. That's what he had had. Okay. We had a lot of fun, though. Oh, I bet you did. He was like the most fun ex fiance I ever had. Mm-hmm. He was a party. He was a. What do they call that when they're squandering their parents' money? Like the inheritance. Uh, oh, uh, like that. A trust fund? Yeah, he had a trust fund, which quit, quickly dwindled down. Mm. He would stay at a month at a hotel, a very expensive one, and that, that, that's insane. Yeah. Insane to spend that much money when you have a home. I don't get it. Okay. He was funny. Tell me about you, Louie, because I never really had the opportunity to talk to you. Like, do you like red hair, blonde hair, dark hair? Or do you like a bald woman? Uh... Well, I do like I do like uh, I like feminine women. Mm. I like my women girly. Yeah. I do like that feminine energy. I get that's what turns me on. Yeah, you know I mean. I like women with short hair. Uh, Bob. Like I need something, I need something I'm gonna be be able to grab on to. Well, I don't know. I mean, I like men and women. So. Oh, Apocalypse says Louis, you are her type. Fly out to Tulsa, and spend some time. W- <laughs> spend the weekend with her. What did you say in there? I see that you said something. I said, click the li- click that like button. <laughs> I did. I thought I liked it already. Let me try again. I clicked it. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah. That button's very important. Yes, it is. <laughs> I need I need to... Uh, I, I look, have a question for I, you. Yes. Yes, Like, dear. I lost all this weight. Okay. But a lot of times I don't feel good, so I look kind of grayish. Mm-hmm. You, I'm thinking about going ahead and, and getting some pictures done that look really good, you know? Mm-hmm. Like you boudoir? Know, like, hey, you fat. You this, you that. Hairy butt. Whatever, you know. Who says that? Um, someone that's sexy. Okay. But it's not because that person says it, then everybody else does it. And they use a picture from many years ago. One's from 2008 when I was really heavy. And, I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I guess it's not no okay. Good it just, with words, but I'm it just worse. never ends. Barely started on my, my tongue. Mm-hmm. Way down. So should I do the pictures? Because then everybody's going to say that I photoshopped them. What, do you really give a shit what other people say? Well, I would like to kind of show off what I've done. Well, then show show off. Because I'm proud of of losing that much weight. I really Uh, am. We'll do it for you. Send me some naked ones. (laughs) Oh, I've got to be careful. Why? Look, I'm not the type of guy that that shares them because I like because I view them as gifts and I, uh-huh. I, I like to keep them keep them for myself um, I keep them in a file where mm-hmm. I like refer to them for inspiration I see <laughs> yeah. is it under F? no it's under J and O oh J-O-M 
jerk off like material. Like jack me off, me off. No, no jerk off material. <laughs> Ugh. Talk about. You are so much fun. Now I have a I friend. Am. She's funny, and I want to know your opinion about this. Okay. She has multiple personalities. Oh. At one point. It'll be like fucking. I, I kind of grew it'll, up with her. It'll be and like she fucking found a new her mother chick. dead. Is what happened. Oof. And when that happened, her personality splintered. All yeah. these I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind dating a chick that that's schizophrenic because it'll be like fucking a new chick every night. No, you want to go with someone that has DID. That's what they call multiple personality now. They call oh. it DID, dissociative mm-hmm. identity disorder. Ah. So oh. she had all these personalities. Unless, and unless like one of those five persona- personalities that worked. She was a nurse. Can mm-hmm. you believe that? Yeah. Wow. But she had all these stories and situations that happened that were just too funny. Like her last name's Bacon, right? Mm hmm. And Cruelty of Cruelties, when she was in elementary school, it was like a K through 8 school, so her older brothers were in the school. No. They had a pig farm. So it was the Bacon Pig Farm. Oh. And the, this lady went on the microphone and made an announcement. You can hear everybody laughing in the background in the office. And she said, will the bacon kids please come to the front? Your pigs are loose. Uh, you need to come to the front. Bacon children. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I mean, painful. And she was really overweight. I said, oh, my gosh. Damn, she had no chance. <laughs> With the last name Bacon. <laughs> Like, they, her parents should have just given up and be, like, named her Fat Fuck. Yeah. I did. The fat... And then you couldn't tell if she was a male or female because she was very neutral in her appearance. Oh, damn. You know, kind of like Pat on Saturday Night Live. Oh. <laughs> and just... But she uses all that. She would laugh it off with her strength. But, I mean, it really did hurt her, some of the things that happened. Yeah. Like, she was just so funny. I mean, I... I don't laugh. You you really you hard have to time. you have to be funny when when you're that fucked. Like honestly, yeah. that's like when you're that fucked. God says, you know what? Here's here's comedy. God bless. Well, me bless. Absolutely. You what, had grandma, you... the kleptomaniac, oh, fuck. and then grandma had put things into her purse, and she was complaining. Why to her isn't aunt. she doing oh, stand up? That's Why... the family secret. You know. Why isn't she family. doing stand up? Yeah. Yeah. Like at least I start think telling these. Is brave. Yeah. Well, I do it. Yeah. Especially with the shit I say, I like shocking chicks. Do you? Yeah. Like, like shock me. Let's see if you can shock me. It's gonna be difficult. But go ahead. Really? Okay. Mhm. Hold on. Let me. In fact, t- let me. Let me play you. One of my. Oh, sh- you gonna play me now, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna play you. I'll play, I'll play you like a fucking guitar. Oh, well, that's Apocalypse. What do you mean that's Apocalypse? He likes music. Well, no, I'm going to... Where's Dabby tonight? He's, we're supposed I, to have who, his why are you, why are you calling? Why are you calling other guys? You with me? No, I'm just saying we're supposed to have his funeral service. You're, you're I with, you're with, fuck him. You're with me right now. Okay. <laughs> There's no, there's, you know, when you're, when you're hanging out with me, there's no other guys. You're mine. Except Bricardi. Bricardi is sexy. Well, yes. Going all the way down my throat, Bricardi. Either way, you're, you're with a Puerto <laughs> Rican, either way, you're with a Puerto Rican, you know? Whether yeah. you, you're dealing with a Puerto Rican in your glass, and uh, you'll have a Puerto Rican in your ass. You know, I had a Puerto Rican transgender <laughs> guy hit on me. And that was interesting. He was really into himself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So when, when you took him home, he was screaming his own name? <laughs> no. No. But um, they get this testosterone shots, and it makes them really horny. Yeah, but does funny. it grow? But does it but does it grow him a dick? He has a penis. How the fuck? Uh, the clitoris is actually the penis, and it's undescended. And when with the testosterone shots and the other, um, I, I don't um, surgery mm-hmm. that they make a penis out of that, and they use some of the tissue from the vagina for the nerve ending. The um, 
surgery for oh, a female. Oh, that sounds like that's making me fucking female, cringe. The surgery for a male to female is much better than the surgery from. Um, well, yeah, male, because all you got to do is the other one. All you got to do is you know get like an ice cream scoop and get all that meat out, and boom, you met, you got a hole. Oh. I've been doing a project with transgender people for about three years. Uh-huh. This one lady, she was mm-hmm. a, what do you call that when they're a madam? She's a whore runner, pimp, yeah, madam. whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, but she was a trans female and been Cherokee. She really looked female. And you know what she would tell guys, and I say this for educational purposes. Education. If a woman tells you. That the reason why her pussy looks a little bit different is because she had cancer to the vagina. Mm-hmm. You need to demand some x-rays. How's about this? Walk the fuck out. <laughs> that, sound, that sounds more... Uh, more... Yeah, whatever. So anyways, here. Uh, this, is, this is a set I did. Um, actually, hmm, no, nah, here's, here's the first one. Okay, I'm listening. Yeah. Guys, coming to the stage right now, put your hands together for your headliner, Mr. Louis yeah. yeah, um, I got this way because I'm not on welfare. Yeah. Fuck, you. <laughs> Fuck your mother. So anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, good evening, motherfuckers. I am your headliner for tonight. Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ, they're just waiting this long. Anyways, uh, what I did on my on uh, Martin Luther King Day, uh, I got fired from my job. Uh, oh, I which, remember uh, that. which is really the blackest thing to happen. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I uh, I po- I got fired for posting on my coworker's Facebook wall under her own oh, account. Man. She left it open, so I decided to type out a suicide note. Oh, oh no. And the cops got called. Because <laughs> her family got nervous, like, oh, shit. I was like, I am. Okay, the part that makes me laugh is not what I'm saying, is the reaction I'm getting. Like, mm-hmm. they're like yo, yo. That, that's what had me. Yeah. Yeah. Done with this. I'm going to end it all. I know you people don't love me anymore. Oh, no. I fucking hate you, mom. You dry vagina bitch. I told, and and I just did that. I, I I did that because she showed up 30 minutes late and held me up and and decided to say, uh, you know, she 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 decided to say, you know, stop crying and like. stop crying like a bitch and man up. And I freaking went Super Saiyan six on her. <laughs> I turned blue eye, uh, blue eye, blonde hair, really fucking Aryan. I threw my hand up in the air and I hit us like a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> fuck mm. Yeah, fuck her mother too. So, so uh, anyways, yeah, I'm afraid to get married. Uh, yeah. Aww. Like, like I got options. So, uh, no, cause. <laughs> <laughs> Not because uh, my cousin, he's uh, he's a marine. He's um he he uh, fought in Iraq. I'm very proud of him. But his first wife had the fucking audacity to cheat on him. I was like, this motherfucker well, is in shape, got an eight pack, batteries right now. He gets cheated on. Bitch is gonna slit me in my throat. <laughs> she's gonna she's gonna take me for all eighty dollars I have in my fucking checking account. <laughs> My vast fucking estate. <laughs> Take my Lego collection that I've had since 1986. Yeah, my my grandmother uh, keeps it 100 with me. Um, you know, she she's like you're 31 now. It's time for you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and here's another one. That was pretty good, by the way. Oh, thank you. Congrats. The guy that introduced you, did he have big ears? Mm, no. Okay, go ahead. Good evening. How you guys doing? Uh, anyways, uh, I was on the train on my way home, and I saw this chick. She was uh, talking to her best friend, I guess. So, I don't know. I'm just assuming her best friend. Uh, she was uh, complaining about how guys manspread. And apparently, this is a, a, a an issue of guys, you know, just sitting... Like kings, like we're like we were meant to be. 
<laughs> like, she's like, why do guys do that? It just makes no sense. You know why? Because we fucking built society. That's why. <laughs> 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 that, that's why. You know why we, we open our legs wide and let our balls breathe? breathe? Because in case a bunch of Chinese people invade, I have to go in there and fight them like Wolverines. That's why. I didn't catch that. Yeah. Why you stay home and just... I was making a Red Dawn reference. Oh, okay. Fucking Google BuzzFeed fucking list. <laughs> okay. Oh, that one man laughing. Get rid of like. I I had the girls laughing because they were like, oh my god, like how dare he speak like that? Oh whatever. Like you know, like that one one of them that was laughing. She hates my guts for some reason. Yeah. But I have her laughing because I guess, like, she's one of those, like, I guess, feminists that you can't talk shit about women. But this chick, she did it. She made a joke about how she caught um, herpes from sleeping around. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, okay. But I've never hit on her. I've never, you know, I try to get her on this show to, like, ha just have fun with her on, on this I would show. like to hear her. Yeah. Tell her a lady in Oklahoma would like to hear from her. Yeah, well, so. she, she'll never be on this show because she, she's a twat. A twat? A twit? A twatter? A twant, if I, if I can <laughs> say. But, you know, she's like, I don't know, whatever. Like, guys only laugh at her because they want to fuck her. That's pretty much it. <sighs> Otherwise, it's like, ugh. Who was your first lover? Um, it was when I was 12. What type of person was it? Uh, she was, she was a daughter of my mom's best friend. Hmm. Yeah. Kind of like extra family. Okay, mm if you want to go that way, but I, we, you know, we weren't related. Extended by family, and but not related by blood, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't play that shit. No, I'm not saying that you did. I'm just saying, never mind. Yeah, why? Why do you want to know? Well, no, it's just like familia. You know, it was like uh, extended family, but not blood. Yeah. You, you must have really cared about her is what I was thinking. And she was a means to an end. <laughs> she was against women? No, no, no. She was a means to an end. Oh, okay. If you know well, I mean. at 12, I mean... Did you even know you had a penis? I mean, yeah. The fuck. Well, I don't have ki I don't have boys. You know, I'm just. You did, well, the fuck. They got hard, and we played around, groped, and then oh, that's where it goes. Nice. Uh, do you remember that first stroke? Louie, I, I thought you wanted me to ask you some questions. I, well, and this is the crotch shot radio show, right? Yeah, but it's it's a, it kicking the issues in the balls, not talking about my balls. Well, I'm talking about your stroking. Your Do you remember your first stroke? Uh, yes. Well, how high was your blood pressure? I don't know. I didn't check my blood pressure. I was, what, I... All I know is, you know, one day, you know, you saw some unscrambled porn and, you know, you see the chick jerking a dude off and it's like, okay, why is she doing that? So you, wow. so you experiment and it's like, oh, this hurts. That hurt? <laughs> yeah, your first time. You Does know. it hurt? Yeah. I mean, it hurt me. I mean, my first, my first. Cut. Is it because you yanked too hard, something or something? No, I mean, no, I don't no. know. When, when you're coming, I don't know. I guess when the cum is like front, for, at the first time shooting up your out your dick, it, it hurts. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well. well I learned something new from Louie. There you go. Louie B. Licious. Louie Louis, Louis B. Kenzie. <laughs> oh, Kenzie report. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. 
The adult Puerto Rican achieves erection about 30,000 times a, a minute. Now, is it true of Puerto Ricans that the head is larger than the shaft? I'm just curious. I think yes. Well, I don't know because I don't stare at other guys' dicks. Well, I mean, maybe you guys talk, you know, that type of thing. We don't talk about our dicks. You don't talk about your dicks? We don't talk about our dicks. Women talk about their pussies all day long, all night long with their friends. No, no, we don't talk about... Like, the moment one dude brings up uh, friggin' cow, like, we look at you like, the fuck are you doing? Really? Yeah, we look at you like, the fuck... Well, I'm not a guy, so... I mean, if I talk about a cock, they don't seem to mind, so... Yeah, yeah, because it's a chick talking about a cock, and (laughs) and that's hot. But if it's a dude, it's like, dude, my dick is, like, you know, huge. And it's like, bitch, yeah, go for... Shut the fuck up, faggot. Shut the fuck up. It's like, yo, my dick is like, yo, go to the fucking doctor. You can freaking wash your balls if your dick itches. I don't Have you ever been to Vegas? No, I've never been to Vegas. I've never been to Vegas. Oh, what are you trying to say? You want to go to Vegas? Vegas, sit on my face? Wait. I don't know. I, I want to, I want to, I have a bucket list. I have yeah, a, I want to get married for the weekend and then have it annulled like on Monday or Tuesday. I have a fuck it list. Really? Yeah. I like that title much better. Yeah, I want to, like, there, I want to go hang gliding and. Oh, well, no, there's there's actual, I have an actual list of women that I would like to fuck before I die. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like that one, that's funny. I want to have my first uh, bajou. Um, a menage a trois, you know, whatever. You haven't had one? Never had one yet. May I ask your age? I am 31. 31? Yes. All right. Mm-hmm. That's shocking to me. How's that shocking? This is. Really? Really? That that I couldn't find two women that would agree to sleep with me at the same time? Well, all you have to do, basically, I think, mm-hmm. for some guys, you know, you find two really good friends and they're drinking heavily. Maybe one has a birthday and, you know, you guys are doing like a group hug and kiss one and then kind of turn heads and before you know it they'll be kissing each other and I've done this before yeah I don't got female friends like that usually the female friends I got are oh get them drunk though you have to get them drunk yeah yeah and then 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 they're no longer my friend and I get cussed out for the rest of my fucking life okay I need to set you up with somebody that would be good Hmm. I know some people in New York and Manhattan. I see. I do. Uh, how far away are the Hamptons from the city? Oh, very far. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's not I, I think that's it's like a three-hour drive, at least. Mm-hmm. I was going to do some work at a office across from the U.N., it's oh. the Methodist Global Office. I see. And a friend of mine had a house in the Hamptons because they didn't want to stay in New York, not in the city. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll change my mind. It's been a very eventful day. Yeah. So what kind of underwear? I, what kind of underwear are you wearing right now? None. Oh. Hmm. I'm wondering. You want to play a little game? Well, what's the game? It's called Guess What's in My Pants, where you rub the phone on your vagine, and I guess how you're shaved. Well, with this phone, I don't think that would matter either way. Well, let, let's let's see. Let's check that out. You... Mm, no. Come on. I'm really good at this. I'm really good at uh, guessing a girl's hairstyle. Down there. You know, I curled my hair. It looks really nice today. Mm-hmm. I was going to do that stop oh, hate don't, campaign. Oh, don't, don't change the subject. I'm talking about my hair. No, I'm talking about your your virgin, how you're shaved down there. I, I don't have any hair on my legs. Uh, your legs. I'm not talking about your legs. 
I'm talking about rubbing the phone on your crotchety. Okay, here. There, I rubbed it. No, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, I did. No, you didn't. It got stuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. what did it get Am stuck I? on? You're supposed to take off your pants first. <laughs> well, there's nothing there. I don't think you understand. It's kind of warm here. Mm -hmm. I opened the window. Okay, please take a picture and send it to. <laughs> no. Why not? No. Now I'm putting a pillow in front of me. <laughs> yeah, this is probably making people very uncomfortable to listen to. I'm uh, just telling you. Guy, guys, They're like, no, stop, stop. Hey, guys, put it in the chat room if you're feeling uncomfortable with me asking CDC about. I think it's probably just you, me, and APOC. Well, either way, put it in the chat room. If you're uncomfortable with me trying to get her nude. <laughs> no, I have thought about doing some, some pictures and putting them out there. Mm. I was going to have some pictures taken today, but um, was unable to, to do that. You know, the stop hate uh, thing where they wear the white shirt. And mm. They do a bold stop hate campaign. I see. Oh, oh, does that mean you'll do it naked? Oh, hold on. No, no. Apocalypse is, is like, like, no, this is good. Okay. <laughs> so enough, enough about this stop hate. Let's talk about getting you naked. Well, you know, I even put duct tape I... over my little cam camera and the laptop because mm -hmm. I'm so paranoid. I see. After well... I found out people could use the cam. <laughs> really, Apoc. Oh, he's crazy. I speak for Andrew. He approves. Okay, see? I, I thought about doing pictures or even a video Ooh. just to shut everybody the fuck up. Uh, yeah. Would you use a dildo in these videos and get yourself... I've used a dildo before. Yeah, but on camera for the world to see. I don't know if I would do that again. I'm really curious about your, your body. <laughs> I have a body. Yes, but how it looks and how it... Because I don't know what you look like. I have curves, you know, and I know some uh, curvy is just well, never for fat. Well, see, I don't... You know, but I, I definitely I, have curves. Well, you know, it, it's... Curves it's, are uh, there for men to hold on to, or women, whatever the case may be. Oh, are you bisexual? Well, didn't I say I like women and men? Oh, no, I didn't I didn't understand. Yeah. No, good, good for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I fall in love with people. It doesn't matter. You know the gender. I fall in love with people. Mm -hmm. So, when so was but it, most of my women philandering was in my early twenties. You know, my late twenties. I see. And my teens, even. So. Mm. Yeah. Wow. I was never with a man until I was twenty-four, and my first lover was when I was sixteen. It was my violin teacher. Oh. Dun dun dun. Wow. Yeah. This is hot. And we were together since until I was about 24. I was mm. in college. And she was just overstepping her bounds. So, interesting. So, yeah, I don't know what you look like, so, you know. Mm-hmm. We well, can look like, you can look at the pictures of when I was really overweight. There you go. Where, where are they? <laughs> I don't know. They, they spread them all around different places. Okay, well... I mean, I got pictures of me in the bathtub on this phone. Oh. But... Feel free to send I was just having those. fun. I'd put some makeup on and false... I, I love false eyelashes. Okay, how do Thank I fi how do I find your picture? I'm addicted to false eyelashes. How, how, do I, how do I find your picture? Well, it's on my phone. Okay, well, the pictures that they spread of you. Oh, I don't know, honestly. You got that going on. Hmm. So. But that's life. Yeah. And I never said I was skinny back then. I never said that. They just would hear my voice and they think, Barbie! I know. I'm Barbie's, at that point, big cousin. Now I'm Barbie's curvy cousin, I would mm -hmm. say. But one thing I want to do before I pass is to start a a company 
because corsets are not that difficult to Actually, make. I think and I, I might, had no I think idea. I, I might had no idea. I think I'm gonna Pardon? put I'm, I I'm gonna put you and Debbie on my fuck it list. And uh, I'll. Oh no, I'm no, gonna, I'm no! You can't them. have me on the same list as her. How? Why not? Because she's dumpster juice. <sighs> Goodness. No, this crazy bitch had even right, called one right. of my children. Oh, goodness. I'm not going to... And try to get her to come oh. down to Texas. I mean, no. The woman called Dr. Phil to try to get me on Dr. Phil. When I said I would never do a show with her again, never go back to her, I meant it. Wait, were you were you girls lovers? No. Oh. No, she wanted me to go back to her show, that thing. Oh, okay. Fuck. No. I'm just all right. Stay away from crazy is my motto. Okay. For some reason. I mean, if you had the Dr. Phil show call you. Hi, this is Zoe. I'm the producer of the Dr. Phil show. Uh, you know. It was interesting, though. Mm. But I wasn't the real story, so. No. She was just using me as an excuse, that's all. I see. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It's okay. You know, it was just, it's stuff like that every six months. You know, there's something that comes up. And I've really had it. I really have. So, But no one really listens to her anymore. She uses bots to inflate her numbers. Like, she thinks the numbers really matter. I mean, come on. I'm talking about the internet. Oh, and then I cost her a job at CBS because of the Dr. Phil show that they had promised her a job with CBS. I'm like, bitch, please. No, they did not. Mm. I don't know. But I'd like to talk about jokes and life and yes. all that well, stuff. Was... So don't put me on a list with that bitch. Comprende? All right. All right. Well, as long as you get to be part of my fuck it list. Well, you can put me on the list. Just take her off of it. I'll put her on another list. How's that? Okay. I, I can have multiple lists. Yeah. How's about fuck it list south and fuck it list north? Well, I'm not that far from her. Oh. Actually, I used I was on the way. Um, one of my boyfriends had a ranch in Texas, Weatherford, Texas. Mm. Not that far. You know what's funny? No. Where she lives now, there is a middle school with my family's last name on it. I and just she, love that. And she has to look at that middle name, and she thinks of you, and she's... Yeah, it's not a common last name, and for some reason they named this middle school. It's probably because of Terry, but whatever. Okay. I like Apocalypse, though. He's really nice. He's a good person. Do you like me? Yeah, there's not a lot of people I don't like oh, okay. to be truthful. Okay. Just dumpster juice. Skank. Okay, all right, we get it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like I said, I wouldn't even let, you know, like, okay, you, you, I wouldn't want... As long as she's else. on your eat my shit list, that'll work. Well, no, because I, I, I like her too. Coolio. I like her too. Until she turns on you. And it will well, happen. well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything that's gonna give her a reason to. Okay, I, you'll learn. Okay. And if she does, I don't know. I'm drinking, and I probably shouldn't be saying those things because now she's gonna do probably three months of slam shows on me that no one will listen to. And if, and if, she, does, and if she does turn on me, I'll just be like, okay, well, God bless. And I'm, and that's I, the way it should be. That's the way I am. You know. That's how I you do. don't like me? Fine. You don't have to tell me no twice. Out the door. Mm -hmm. so. But Goofy Bone is so sexy. Louis B, send me the game check details. Mm. Send me your card. Seems Are you to... part Italian at all? Um, I don't know. Oh, by the way, the uh, to answer Andrew, Andrew, uh, the gamer chick that I had, uh, she has a boyfriend now. She, yeah. <laughs> I you was... had a gamer girl on? Uh, it's a girl, a chick who's a gamer. Um, her name was Sadie, and uh, 
you know, she had, shady lady. No, Sadie, Sadie, Sadie. As, and Sadie, she, shady lady. No, 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 no. It's no, no, no. <laughs> just a play on words. That's no, all. No. So, but uh, you know, I I was hitting on her, and it turns out she just recently started dating a dude. I'm like, damn it! I'm never on time. <laughs> we didn't find you somebody because you sound like you're the type of man that likes to be in a relationship. Am I right or wrong? I'm looking for something serious. Oh, that's sweet. I'm looking. I wonder. Do you want them to be in New York City? I, I know a few people. Well, yeah, be yeah, because I, I I'm not I'm not fitting it to have a long ass distance relationship. Oh no, I wouldn't they either. They need to be within the. Do not recommend it. They really need to, they need to be in the five boroughs of New York City. Yeah, maybe we could find you somebody. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of theater and uh, like opera and people in the garment district. I see. Which a lot of people don't realize, but mm -hmm. it is what it is. Mm -mm -mm. Well, you know, it's getting late. Yes. I think I'm boring your people. No, you're not. So. No, you're not. You, you're, you know, I'm still trying to get you naked. Well, there's not enough traction here, and I don't want to bring your show down. I really don't, so... Uh, and how do you know I'm not naked already? Well, cause you have to I like being naked. You gotta send me a picture then, because either that you're just talking, and you know, talk is cheap. Well, I know I'm naked. I mean, I don't have to prove anything to anyone. Well, you have to prove it to me. It's by law. Why? It's by law. Is it? Yeah, Daddy needs to see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andrew. Okay, how about the Jew? But she never answered the question about the foreskin? Yeah. Um, what question? Oh, speaking of which, uh, she now has a show here on Spreaker. You could check her Does out. Does she? Yeah, it's Ricky S Sofa. So check her out. That's Ricky Sofa. Is that a play on the sofa? Um, it's a play. The sofa. No, no, it's a play. Bill? It's, it's a play on her last name. It's Ricky Sofa. Mm. Is it S-O-P-A? No, no, no. It's F. Oh, okay. I thought you said SOPA. You don't the SOPA bill where they tried to destroy the internet. No, no, no. Stop SOPA. No SOPA. Okay. In well, fact, let me think of that. Let me just put, put it in there. You know, just help, help, help my fellow people out. Don't troll her, please. I beg of ye. Don't troll her. Oh, that's an invitation. Just say she's not relevant. She's not relevant. Oh, damn it. I need to give you all the, the lingo. Don't do that to her, please. <laughs> because then, then, then I'm the one who has to hear the shit. Like, honestly, I'm the one who will have to hear the shit. Well, I don't think the trolling is as bad as it used to be. I mean, it's been really brutal before. Oh, well, you know, I just, I was just on a, like, I was listening to a show and some photoshopped a fucking dick in my mouth. Like, what the fuck? Oh, you think that's a big deal? Nah, it's just fucking annoying. It was like, what the fuck? Have you had hundreds of videos posted on YouTube? Yeah, well, I have videos posted on, about me on YouTube, yeah. Well, derogatory videos. Yes. Hundreds of videos against you? No, hundreds. Okay. Then a picture with a dick in your mouth not such a big thing. I don't like that shit still. Or getting swatted. Have you been swatted? No, not yet. Well, don't say not yet. That's like saying, come get me. Yeah, I think someone needs to write a book that's relevant on trolling and oh, the right. lingo they and, use. And of course, Barco's already following her. <laughs> oh, shit. Aw. Barco's harmless, though. I think he's just a lonely man. With a lot of fucking accounts. He is lonely, don't you think? Or actually, that's not a fair question. I apologize. Yeah. That could put you in an uncomfortable position. And I don't want to do that to you, because you're cool. Yeah. Like, I was really upset when you were upset the other night. And you, I was concerned. And you got mad when, when uh, another person who I think is another lovely young lady, no matter what you think about her. I'm not taking sides. I'm don't expect me to take sides. I'm not gonna take no sides. I'm not asking you to. 
I'm just saying be wise. And she hasn't asked me to either, so. Mm hmm. So. Well, what about her? Well, she, I, honestly, she doesn't talk about you to me. Mm hmm. But in all fairness, you did ask me a question. Yeah. Why does everyone hate me? Well, I, I didn't specifically say why does she hate you. I didn't know she hated you. Why does everyone hate you? And she is involved in that answer. Oh, very okay. much involved. Well, see, I didn't know that. You know, that woman you, has you, even called you child see. protective services on me. Oof. So, yeah, I take that bitch, you know, like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't call Dr. Phil about her. I just, I don't know. I guess you just have to have the experience, and I hope you never have the experience to understand what I'm talking about. Oops. Was that your other line? No. Was no. that the Back on Louis music. Mobile phone number? Like the bat phone, the Louis phone? No, that's just uh, the uh, background music I like to play during the show to, that I forgot to turn back on. Hey, I, I have a question. Yes, dear. Do you like to write? I, I write jokes. Like skits and stuff. Uh, Actually, I do my own skits. I have radio skits. If you guys want to check out my other thing, Louis B. Comedy, I have a lot of... Oh, I cool. have I have, it, I have a radio skit called Indiana Fucking Jones and the Missing Clit. Um, mm -hmm. Rust Up Shoots People in the Face. Uh, Hitler Comedy Tapes. It, I have some. I have some really edgy stuff. <laughs> what do you consider that edgy? Because I'm thinking about doing some different things. Um, I do this skit where I. It's a commercial for um. Uh, minority fetus Christmas ornaments. Uh huh. Made out of real aborted baby fetuses. Well, just put vaccines up there. That'll work. Okay. Well. They have aborted fetal tissue in them. Wow. Uh. They're Delicious. called uh, fetal cell line five. There's three different types. See, I guess you can have three different colors and genders because there's one fetal cell line. So, fetal cell. I, I'm drunk. Fetal cell line mm -hmm. five is taken from a female aborted fetus lungs. Nice. And that's put in the MMR. Why? Uh, another one's put in the chicken pox, uh, the vaccines, you know. Yep. And then there's human DNA that's put in there too. So instead of getting your, what do you call that, fetus Christmas ornament? Already, Andrew's just following. Put your Andrew's following Ricky that. Sofa. Yes, <laughs> everybody. They're like, holy shit, she's hot. Yes, yeah, she is. And I and I see her in person a lot. And she well, shot. What me. about her? She, well, no, she just shot. Friend? Well, she shot me the fuck down. She only likes black guys. Oh, I bet she loves your mind. I bet she does. Yeah, no. I'm Maybe just, there's a possibility. I got, there. I got friend the fuck zoned. <laughs> That's me. Well, when I, a man I just, has a sexy mind, that can make the difference. Yeah, like no, I get, try a different flavor. No, I get, I get friend fucking zoned. I like there was this one oh, chick yeah. who, who I was trying to get with, and uh, she was like, she had depression. And she would call me whenever she felt suicidal. So not only was I friend zone, she fucking service dogged me. <laughs> I never heard that term before, and that's really good. Yeah, it is. I mean, I got my vest and everything. Don't pet me. I'm working. Whenever I was with her. Well, do you like black women, white women? What, what's your preference? Um, the only time I would like a black woman a is, like, the only time I would like a black woman if she has a little cream in her coffee. If you know what I'm saying. And not ghetto. Oh, light. Well, yeah, like she, if she's like part white. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, no, you know, she they likes got the, the hot ninety-seven boy. in New York, that urban radio station. Yeah, I don't, I don't listen to that shit. <laughs> well, I used to work at the the other station in Atlanta, the hot ninety-seven. Yeah. There, I, am, you know, and this is the thing, I am, I actually am a bad boy. It's just that, you know, when I when I unleash when I unleash the badness, it's to like yeah. 
I'm going to destroy and it scares the fuck out of people. Because it's like once, like if I gotta, uh, if I gotta fucking, like get barbaric, it, uh -huh. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm fucking dropping Agent Orange on a fucking village. Well, what I was thinking is maybe I could call some of my contacts, mm -hmm. and we could find Louis a lady. Yeah, Apocalypse says Louis hates black people, so they have to have some white in them. Louis friend. Well, there's all different types of people that listen to that station. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. surely they could help you out. I don't like I don't like Hot ninety seven, and I don't want I don't want to date anyone that listens to that station. It's like ugh. You're making things so difficult. I like e I listen to EDM music. I don't listen to fucking hip hop, like the, especially the bullshit. Well, I understand that, that. I get that, but I have contacts there, and maybe they know somebody that would be just perfect for you. Mm -hmm. E Harmony is free this weekend. How about this? I'll try E Harmony, and you try E Harmony. We'll see how we make out. E Harmony is free this week. Yeah, this weekend. It was started on Thursday. So you've got today to answer that million-long questionnaire and maybe hook up with somebody this week and maybe by Saturday night, Louis will get lucky with the love of his life. Mm -hmm. And by getting lucky, I mean meeting me, you know, that. Yeah. I'm more Jewish than that. Than I don't know. Just... I don't know. Well, you no, be, I believe you, in courting. You, you want to be a yenta? You know, getting to know your partner. <laughs> I don't know what usually happens to me is like I'll meet a chick, I'll start getting to know her, and all of a sudden, she's like incommunicado for like ever. <laughs> she's eating avocado. No, no, she's incommunicado. She's she she oh, she, she doesn't she want. Huh? Yeah, she disappears, and it's like what the fuck. And then, well, then you didn't need her in the first place. That's all. Yeah, I mean, and I get, and but this this is the thing, you know, the chicks like to say, oh well, I was busy. Yeah, but I saw you were on. <laughs> it shows that you were online. I know you saw me message you. Oh, you're crazy. Oh, I'm crazy. Well, maybe she was on, but she was taking a crap. I mean, who knows? Yeah, yeah, bullshit. Because you know, <laughs> you know, you know, you know how I know. I I like to do this test, like just to like, and you know, like first I start off like, hi, how you doing? You know, you want to continue talking. Uh -huh. Okay, no response after four hours. Okay, next message. I do you, that all the time. You I mean. filthy fucking cunt. How dare you? You're nothing but a dirty bitch. I hope you get raped. Two seconds later. Hey, hey, hey. Who the fuck are you talking to? Like, aha. So you do answer. You'll answer, you'll answer to fucking cunt, but, but you don't answer. That's a crazy way. Yeah, that well, scares the person. Oh, so saying hello. How and you... maybe four hours ago she was cooking, or I don't know, maybe she was changing a diaper. Yeah, but life you know, happens. So yeah, so how come? Oh, if she's changing a diaper, I definitely don't want to be with her. Well, I, what I, if it's her nephew? I mean, hell. I I don't. Right, possibly. Yeah. I don't mess with single. I don't mess with single pa single parents. The black women are really good and bad. I gotta tell you. Oh, I, I know, I, I know are they are. Great the bad. only the only time I mess with a black chick is if uh, they're they're uh, are like down on their luck, and it's just and it's just to hit it and quit it. But I'm not getting in no relationship with no black chick. I'm sorry. Uh, it was one of those strange happenings. This woman that I've been involved with, Ooh. very beautiful woman. She was like five ten, five eleven. She was a model, and her <sighs> cheekbones. To die for, to mm -hmm. die for. Mm -hmm. I know I dated men too, and she dated men, and it turned out we were dating the same guy. And he kept on talking about this inn, and um, that she thinks that I'm going to invite her here and there. There's no way in hell I'm going to do that. And this guy would do. Oh, I can't say that. Mm -hmm. He would come across town and bring me lunch and. I've had a medical problem. This is back when I had ovarian cancer. Oh. And then it was discovered that the same guy that we've been dating, that we were, we found out that we we're dating the same guy. And the way he talked about her was like lower than dirt. 
and then and he thought I was just wonderful. And, um, I lost a trip to China. I could have gone to China with this guy, but because he treated her so badly, I, I couldn't. I, no, just that was awful. I know that's messed up, but, but I was thinking of her. She had the best pussy. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. It was great. Then there's this Hawaiian girl. She was part Hawaiian and part... Oh gosh, what's the name of that island? It's a crazy island. She was wild. She would fuck like a man. You're making mm. me think of women. Mm. Go ahead. It's interesting. I'm letting you. I'm letting you talk. I might. I, I might. I might. I might even listen. I might even listen back to this with my hand on my pants. Oh my Jesus! Are you being serious? Mm. You'll never know. <laughs> I guess I never will. <laughs> if I can't see, if I can't get no pictures of uh, what you are wearing right now, or what you're you'll doing. have my voice, yeah. Mm-hmm. But if you see the pictures of when I have dark hair, I've had red hair for over two years, like two and a half years now. Mm-hmm. So I'm just letting you know. Those are old pictures. And there's one from 2008. I mean, that's crazy. I see. That was a bad picture, too. Oh. Eight years office. Real bad picture. Mm. Life is good, though. Hmm. I think I'm going to get my nails done tomorrow. That's what I think. Oh, okay. Get my nails. Well, done. all right. So you go also get a Brazilian wax on your uh, on your rainforest. You got between your legs. That hurts, and the hair grows back really fast. So. Well, but I prefer to take care of it myself. Oh, you get the epilator, or you shave that shit off with uh, your Venus. I have a, a process. It's an Italian process. Oh, okay. It works. What that happened? Works. You take a fork and you start eating it like spaghetti. No. Is are, are your like are your sugar and honey and <sighs> sugar? It works. Honey. And there's no razor bump that the... way. Mm. I That's bet it, I like bet that. it makes your pussy taste delicious. Well. Mm. I haven't had any complaints. Mm. You can honestly say that. Huh? I do like to go down on the woman. I have an oral fixation as well. Yeah. Like a lot, like there's this group that I am part of in Facebook. They're like, oh well, you know, it's not, it's not a uh, good for a guy to eat a woman's put. Like I freaking enjoy that shit. I don't understand what the fuck the problem is. Sixty nine is was one of my favorites. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. Are you limber? Like, uh, could I put you in many different types of positions? Probably not. Can you still do splits? A what? The splits. Can you still do the split? What do you mean still do a split? I've never been able to do a split. Well, most kids can. I've never done a split. Okay. What are you talking about? I like a man that very flexible. Oh. Well, then I'll get you in contact with Jean-Claude Van Damme. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you got wet. No, <laughs> uh, he's sexy. Well, not, well, maybe not so much now, but think of the person he used to be. Alrighty. Uh, who's your crush? Like, who do you think's really sexy? As far as what? As a female, um, you again. You have to very... you have to narrow it down because I there's a there's a whole bunch of like if you could have a fantasy fuck, mm. you know, a relationship, like more than just a fuck. What popular personality would you go for? Uh, Kate Upton. Okay, why? Cause I like I like how plushy she looks. Oh. I like I like my. So you women. like her. Yeah. 
I like a woman's body. I like something. I like. I like something to grab onto from both ends. Mm, okay. I like my hands to explore. Um. Mm -hmm. But I also do like that uh, Megan Trainer. She is pretty. I think she's got a pretty face. Like she, and I think she, her pr body's pretty too. I think she would look. She it would be fun to to doggy fuck her. Really? Yeah. Like put your hands on her hips and dig in and like yeah, just bump dig away. Like it's not just her hips, just her ass cheeks, and just spread them apart and just squeeze and watch watch it ripple as you you're you're plowing. Uh, I've thought I about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I wonder if she can do the splits. And she is very pretty. There's also I this like other one. Oh, there's a, there's also this other one. Uh, this other singer. Her name is Mary Lambert, but she's a lesbian, and I, I like. Ugh, I'm like. It seems like I'm attracted to women I cannot have. What do you think that says about you? I have no idea. It has to say something. It probably does. I just don't know. Do you have a fear of commitment as well? No, I don't. Now you want it, but there's fear, so you're attracted to people that you cannot commit to. Like, well, either that or I like to chase. Oh, that's fun too. I'll agree with that. Like I do kind of get if, if if I get it if I get it too easy, I get bored fast. Mm -hmm. But if I have to like, you think who else has had it? Yeah. And if I if I if I have to chase it, and I get it. I feel like I've conquered something, and I. Mm -hmm. But then I want to keep it because I was like I put. Yeah, too much... a lot of women that want to settle down need to learn those rules. You know, yeah. don't say yes all the time. Oh, um, what's that chick that plays? Um, she's on Criminal Minds. Yeah. Uh, Garcia, you know what I'm talking about. Um, the blonde lady. Yeah. The one that made the big to do at the was it Oscars? Something Arquette? No, 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 not Rosanna Arquette. No, she's on that show Criminal Minds. I don't watch it too much. <laughs> she plays the hacker. Does she have dark hair? No, she's no, she's blonde. <sighs> the hacker. Oh, she's got kind of got wavy hair, like a forty style. Yeah. I like that hair. That was really good. Yeah, hair. she. Um, oh, her name is Kristen Vag Vang Vang uh, Vangsness. Okay. Well, she's cool. Yeah. That's a good choice. I approve of yeah, that. Yeah, but she's a, she's also a that one. but she's also a lesbian. So I'm like, fuck. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you just made my night. Mm-hmm. You did. That is amazing. In fact, here I'm gonna put the fuckalicious. Put... Hook me up. I'm gonna put the link there so that way you know who I'm talking about. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, you got. It. But you know, women do like a, a live cock every now and then. Those lesbians. Yeah, but she's married. She's married lesbian. to her her her. Right? Oh, she's married. She's definitely off limits. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I don't. Oh wait, think wait. People should go. Oh wait, no, she broke up in two th really twenty thirteen. Seriously? Oh, they okay. They were. They... I still have a chance. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I know. I might go after a woman this next time. Mm -hmm. It just makes more sense. Men are too difficult to live with. I swear to God. Mm. And I'm too mean to men. I'm very mean to men. Yes. That's not good either. I don't like being mean. I don't. Who who else am I crazy about? Oh, um, have you seen that show Arrow? No, I, I don't watch a lot of TV. Okay, is that a cable? Uh, or? No, no, no. It's regular, regular TV. It's a, it's a one of those comic book shows. It's Arrow. She, um, um, what's her name? Oh fuck. And I, and Andrew probably no can probably guess who I'm gonna say. Who who is like the hottest? On that show, the show that get, gets me. Uh, 
Oh, what's her name? I don't know. Her, na her name is, she plays Felicity Smoke. Her name is Emily Bet Richards. Oh, she's, especially when she has those glasses on. Oh, what color hair does she have again? Oh, she's blonde. You like blondes. I like blondes, I like brunettes, I like, I, I go especially crazy for redheads. There was this one chick. Oh, that's me. I have red hair. There was this one chick. She she was curvy. She, you know, um, she had red hair. And unfortunately, it, like, I really wanted to be with her, but it all turned out to be a one-nighter. It just turned oh. out to be a one-nighter. And I was like, because she, for some reason, she never had time. She never had time for me. She was, because then her mom moved in with her, and she had to take care of her mom because her mom was, was afraid. Well, was afraid of New York, so she couldn't be left alone in the apartment. So it made. I said there was probably somebody else. Yeah, probably. At least she was kind about it. So I got kind of pissed off with her because it was like, like whenever she would. Say, uh, uh, admit, uh, not admit, agree to a date. She was always like fucking canceling, but never giving me an alternative or rescheduling. Uh -huh. and so when I fi I finally just ended up get getting frustrated and cursed her ass out. <laughs> so when's your next comedy gig? Um, Sunday. Sunday. I'm actually writing some new stuff now. Will you be able to stream it live, like live stream? Uh, no, but I, I'll record That would be cool. Like, really, this is, um, it's just me working shit out. Okay. So, like a practice run? Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to develop a new act, a new, completely new act. That's cool. So I gotta, like, go up on stage, test it out battle test it if I could make other comedians laugh their balls off that's you know. oh then you know yeah uh, try one of the jokes out I just want to hear one of them you want to hear one of them okay yeah I do all right only if you send me a naked picture <laughs> no that's not gonna happen well then how, how... at least not tonight at least not tonight not tonight I'll have to think about it okay and I've lost more weight since those pictures I took, which was a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've lost a whole person. Yeah, well. Feels that way. Yeah, that's, I'm totally understandable. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, ah, okay. I was coming home from uh, the pizzeria and I was uh, walking past a family walking into their building and the little hipster cub ask me you bring in pizza my I, I say yeah I'm bringing pizza after that he turns to his sister and says yay mom and dad brought us pizza that's when it hit me that this kid thinks every brown person is a delivery guy and white privilege is not a choice white privilege is not a choice I don't get that oh because you're born with it it's not taught. You, it just came naturally to him. His white what, what is the deal with white guilt? I mean, white what's privilege. wrong with assuming different things? Because everybody has assumptions. I mean, this is just an intellectual question. Yeah, well, I mean, because because it's like... It, I, I, this, this kid thought nothing of it. Me just being, you know, a person bringing pizza home for myself... It's him assuming that, you know, this slave boy <laughs> is bringing pizza for his family. <laughs> like, well, I mean, it's maybe just... he just thought you were delivery, man. I mean, did it have to do with the color of your skin? Yeah. Maybe any guy with a pizza box, he would think. I seriously doubt it. Why do you seriously doubt it? Uh, because white people are horrible. Well, I'm a white person. I think they're, they're a genetic um, mistake on this planet. Along along with black people. Okay. I'm just kidding. So. Now, that one was hard for me to grasp because I really can't okay. understand white guilt. 
and why people think it's bad. Well, that's your white privilege. You don't understand white guilt. White privilege, I understand. Yeah. You know, we are more privileged, but I think we've earned that right. Wow. Well, no, I mean, I'm being honest. Now I definitely need to see you naked. <laughs> mm hmm. Why? What do you mean, why? Why not? <laughs> Robert Kennedy answer. Mm -hmm. Some ask why. I ask why not. Mm -hmm. He must have been in college when he said that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, honey, you want to fuck? Why? Why not? That's how you. That's how you get anal like a boss. <laughs> uh, see, I've always the men I've been in relationships usually. I tell them that to jump, and they tell me, you know, they ask me how high, or... The only person that they were not submissive to me, I had a big issue with, and he's been in jail mm -hmm. a lot now. Oh. And I haven't dated that many Americans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. But the French, they're, they're something else. Yeah, they're greasy frogs. They are. They have greasy hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a lot of people realize that, but they do. You're so right. It's their it's their diet. You think? Yeah, it has to be. Either that, or they just don't shower every day. I think that's it. I think that's absolutely it. And they get in your personal space. Doesn't that bother you? Well, that's why you throw punches. Um, crazy. Well, I'm boring everybody. And oh, well, yeah, I'm about to... Well, you're not boring everybody, I'm but I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to be ending this year. Because but I can do the splits. I just want to let you know. Hmm. I'm very limber. Can you do it on my dick? <laughs> mm hmm Well, I could say something a bit to be cruel. So, <laughs> I don't want to insult your manhood. Well, you've, ne you've never seen my manhood, so... <laughs> so I don't even know, you know, and and that'll be and that'll be such a like a cliche joke to say. And it's like, come on, really, mm -hmm. come on. And you oh. know, you know, you know, you know, I get, I, you know, I'm getting you wet right now. Your ass gets wet. Your man pussy gets wet. No, I said you're getting. I know you're getting wet by me right now. Oh no. Just a thought. Yeah. You gotta say Let's no. Let's look at this picture of your Kirsty lady. Is it Kirsty? Uh, you call it? She's pretty. Yeah. And she's well rounded. I like that. Woman Crush Wednesday. That's one of my. I have a whole. I, I should start she's posting. She's close to my age. That's cool. She's a writer. Mm -hmm. A gold. Star. You are the queen of the changing of the subjects. What? You are the queen of I just, the... It's hard for me to focus, that's all sometimes. Wait, do you have ADD? No. No, oh, because I'll give you some of my DDD. Mm -hmm. No. But my last fiancé had ADD severely. Very severely. Yeah. Violent family, too. Oh. I'm sorry. Mm, I'm not. Oh, okay. He was a lot of fun. Hmm. Made Can you, you imagine neither one of us could keep focused? <laughs> Oh, trust me. When, <laughs> trust me. I am really focused right now. I'm focused on getting you naked right now and pounding you out and just punishing you. Oh, really? Yeah. So do you like to be tied up? No. Have you felt the belt against your ass softly and hard? Have I what? Felt the pounding of a belt against your ass. Yeah, I, I'm poor. Yeah, I'm poor. On that sweet spot. You know the sweet spot that is the lower half of your ass? 
Yeah, no, yeah, I, I, I am so Puerto, I am Puerto Rican. I grew up in a spell. Puerto Rican. I grew or up in a Puerto right. Rican ha- or, household. Or just, oh my goodness! Now that is getting me excited. Yeah. The thought of you blindfolded and not knowing what's going to happen to you next is exciting. All right. <laughs> Pain is such sweet pleasure. What is this slam pig doing on this show? <laughs> what, you? Okay. Uh, let me get to that thing. We're just having fun, whoever you are. All right. Oh, oh, I know who that is. That is not him. Uh, well, I told him there were some videos and pictures from a few years ago. Let's see who this really is. Oh, that's not Bill Wagner. That is... <laughs> The dumpster. It's the language that tells you it's her. You know? No, I have not seen her pictures or videos. And it's not like I hid the fact that it used to be really heavy. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. Alrighty. Well, with that, let, let, let's end the show. And... Yeah, I agree. I have some work to do. Yeah, and maybe send me some pictures. Mm. I'll be good. You never know. All right. (laughs) Maybe I will. Hell, maybe I will. My hair looks really good right now. All righty. Well, I'd like to thank everyone for listening. Um, Bill Wagner crew, how you doing? Um, Apocalypse, as always. Gracias. Andrew. Vete con Dios. Um, CDC, thank you for coming on and calling on. Well, it was my pleasure. I enjoyed yeah. this. this was hopefully, great. hopefully one day I get to give you well, the we pounding. Well, we need to find you somebody in New York. That's what we need to do. Well, how's about you come over and allow me to fill you? Uh, there you go. So, anyways, as always, from my house to your house, mahalo. And that's the end of my show. Donk. <laughs> <laughs>